Sir Elden Ring. Last time we went through the entirety of Caria Manor. This time we're going to not do that again. Um, I don't think there's anything over here I have to do because I'm not doing Ren Ronnie's quest line. So I know I'm not going to get to and through the whole academy this time. So I'm going to do some prep work. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to go through here. Because that... Oh, controller. Controller. Go operate with me. I guess I need to go through Ronnie's quest line eventually. Because I do want to kill Estelle. I think he he gives me something. Um, I want to go to that cave. I want to do this tree. Let's see, and uh, I guess I'll also make sure I do the cave, don't remember exactly where it is, I want to say around here, it's somewhere on the side of the academy, I just make sure there's nothing else super important here I'm missing, yeah, and then after that, I'm going to finish Castle Morn and follow that up with, I think I only get five beacons. So I'll plant just five things right now. I'll go and get patches. That is my plan. So, to get there fastest, the quickest one would probably be this grace. Because it is on the shore, so I can just dip back into the water. It's not one of the ones on the cliff. Okay, thing number one. Let's go. In this cave is mandatory because it gets me one of the uh, smithing stone bell bearing dingies. Don't remember which one. It's not somber. I think it's smithing stone. Do I get him? I don't remember how many smithing stones you get for for bearing. I think this is the second set though. If it's two per bearing, then this is three and four. If it's three, then it's four, five, and six. Don't quite remember that, though. Well, there's a free somber smith in stone three. I'll take that. Don't mind if I yes. Alright, and that giant mausoleum guy can wait because I don't need him yet. crystals because apparently there's no item. I thought there was an item. Oh boy, crafting materials. One of the more useless mechanics in the game. I don't like uh, the crafting system in, in this game. There's nothing back there. Is there? No. No, there is not. I had to be sure. I know this cave all too well. Thankfully, this flail counts as a blunt weapon, so it doesn't bounce off these guys. So why do people hate the flails again? This is great. Buy her a hit. I mean, that's kind of your fault for expecting an illusory wall there. Anywhere like a place that would have an illusory wall. Uh, 
All right, cave, you're going down. These caves that are marked in orange on the map are also nice because they give you a bunch of smithing stones just inside of them that you can grab. No, I was holding B. Guys. The uh, platforming can be a little tricky. I didn't give myself enough of a running start to get a run jump. Which is fine. We'll go back through it. Try behind. Oh my god, there's actually an item back there. I've never gotten up there before because I never bothered to try. Got a somber stone three before. They should have given me a, a somber stone four for that effort. Oh hey, there's another guy using a flail. Did they make flails better since I heard all the complaints, or were they just underrated? Turn the camera too far. <laughs> yeah, come on, me. Well, now I gotta do that parkour again to get my runes back. I, I don't like that I'm seeing whatever that thing is. That thing is uh, creepy, and also it seems like a spoiler for the DLC. I'd rather not see it. I'd rather experience whatever the heck that thing is on my own. I know I have the DLC, but you don't need to start showing me stuff from it already. You've already convinced me to get it. You don't need to sell it on me. Sell me on it. Okay, I have a fair bit of runes, so I am going to get them back. Thankfully, I don't need to make all the parkour, so I can just go back the way I came. as pudding. Alright, I need to redo the lantern. Sweet. Yeah, why would anyone use a torch when lanterns exist? I know there's torches later on that have effects, but like, why would you use a basic torch? Okay, you're going down first. What are the cracked crystals even used for? I don't have a recipe guide or anything, so I gotta just consult this. Cuckoo Glenstone. Use FP to produce magic gold. That is useless. I'm not using bows or anything, so I don't need special arrows of any sort. 
Do I have a rune arc to consume? I do not. Okay, I need to find one. I'd rather not waste my runes buying them. Uh, this one does have a place I can just drop down, but I don't think it really does anything for me. That's the one where I'm supposed to drop off. Halfway? No, that's the other mine. Should be coming up on the shortcut soon here. I think. Yeah, there it is. in the beam I'm not gonna fall jump off the end so I can't fall at all I just made them threes in here ah you survived first time someone survived two hits charge oh, another stone here don't want to leave that behind. Okay. This is the shortcut elevator. It just brings us up to the before room. Which I shouldn't need to go back to the grace. Five blasts should be more than enough to deal with the boss here, especially with the flail. Forgot about you in here. I hate these guys. Okay, there's not another one in here. Three smooth stone ones and one smooth stone two. That's not amazing. Okay, good. You're just a bow one. Still annoying, but not as bad once I get you up close. Oh no, you live that. And there's a bow one from behind, I do remember that. Get down! Those guys are quite stinky. Yeah, that's it where you get the crystal knife. That's a decent enough weapon if you're playing a mage with a melee weapon to back it up. Not one of my favorite weapons, though. I don't know why I bother grabbing one of these resources. I've never used them. I can count the number of times I've utilized the crafting mechanic on one hand. Like half of those times, damn it, are just from making the uh, early flowers for uh, co op. That was before I started doing co op on the Seamless Co op mod, which is amazing, by the way. If you want to play co op on this game, download the Seamless Co op mod. Let's you all play together in the same world. No need to summon. Don't get de-summoned after every boss. It's fantastic. That's what I'm gonna do when I finish this series. The rest of the Dingus Squad got the DLC too, so after I finish this, we're gonna do seamless co-op through the DLC. We already played to the main game in Seamless Go Up. Uh, boss should be right up here, right? Or is there another elevator first? There's another elevator. Alright, boss should still be right through here. I think it's down, and then I drop off halfway here for the boss. Oh, is that still a different cave? No, that is the other cave. I was right before. That's the other cave. Boss is right here. 
it's just the other case, usually the one I do first. But I'm doing this one first right now. Yeah, you're the one crystalline. Crystallion, sorry. And I do decent damage to you even without getting the stance break. Tiny bit longer than I thought it would. Should break your stance in one or two more jump attacks. Yeah, I was right. This thing does a lot of stance damage. And now you get staggered. Easy. Oh, that is the Bellberry number one. Really? What do you get from that other cave that's before this one? It's not a bell bearing. Is it just a... Seriously, dogs? <sighs> Random dogs outside. Uh, it might just be... Just a talisman or something. Jesus Christ. There's only one thing that those dogs know is that they're angry right now. Alright, so to get to that tree that I wanted to go to, I must go up here. a little incline right there that brings you up. I have never once taken I have always just jumped up this bridge. I have a little room to eat. I should also use my runes. Pretty sure I was working on endurance. a lot of endurance with this setup. So we need to go down the path and then around and up to get up the cliffside on our left. Should be pretty easy. Shouldn't be too bad. And this is mostly just a journey. I am not here to impede your war. You can continue fighting each other as you have been. Uh, I need to turn around now, but uh, Grace is back here. Might as well activate that just so it's there in case I need to come back here for whatever reason. Again, I'm not here to get all the, the Sites of Grace or anything. I'm just going to grab the ones I pass or the ones that I know are in spots that will be helpful to me. Uh, is there a reason to do this? I, I'm, you know, I'm here. I might as well do it while I'm here. Is that pointing down here, though? I think it is this one, yeah. I remember an entrance around here somewhere. This is further than I thought it did. Okay, well, let me get this item in the chair first. Those are usually pretty good items if you see someone sitting in a chair on a cliff edge. Okay, follow this west wall and we should come across the door. There it is. Catacomb. Dungeon. It's not a cave. 
That is a catacomb. Well, that was weird. And we want our lantern again. Is this the one where I gotta go under this elevator? I know there's one like that and I still have PTSD from it. Looks exactly like it, but at the same time, 90% of the catacombs look exactly like all the other ones. Ooh, you were a trap. Good thing I remembered at the last second. You lived! Another thing I'm not sure if I've uh, praised enough yet is... Uh, this flail doesn't take a lot of endurance. Like, it doesn't use a lot of stamina to swing it. Acquire materials. Oh, that little thing on the ground. I was like, where is the material right there? I don't see any. It's on the ground! This one, and I think it's annoying. Wait, no, this isn't the one I was thinking. This one's not too bad, if I remember correctly. Forgot about that, though. Gotta keep an eye out for traps. Like that. Why are some of you surviving my three-hit combo and some of you aren't? Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. Those guys, even when you're the proper level to deal with them. Yeah, 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 lost with use. I know there's a talisman. What is it? That's not a talisman. That's not a talisman at all. No! Why didn't I dodge? I was hitting B. Was I holding it for just a tiny bit longer than I was supposed to? And I was entering a, a sprint instead of a, a dodge. That might have been it. It's okay, we'll try it again. Just all the other way back up. Into the catacomb. And my lantern. I just want to go home. Barely reached me. Fork Tatch, I remember grinding those guys forever trying to get. I don't think it was the Fork Tatch. I think I was trying to get one of the their heads. So I was, wanted to see how good they were as armor. Ninety percent sure dropping down there is the solution to get to the end. But I want to save that for last because I want to explore this fully. Okay, I'm gonna plan for four hits instead of planning for three hits because planning for three hits does not end nicely. Here, what's up with that mirror shield that I just got? Does it have a special effect? No. In fact, very weak against striking attacks is a very negative. 
That one was a three hit. I didn't do anything special like a run attack or anything. You don't see me. I think he sees me, guys. Run! I will take that from under your nose. Thank you, Omen. No item. I'll take your runes. That's fine. Your runes are enough for me. Yeah, now above that. All the not sneaky guys in here trying to jump me, you are the least sneaky. That was pretty sneaky. Oh, my camera got messed up there. I don't know what happened to me. I worked out my. <laughs> There's another one! Look, there's like no damage to him, but it keeps him at a range. Didn't really stun him long enough for me to follow up. Oh, it can. Scythe. Pretty sure that is a good weapon, I just don't really have use for it. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything about this puzzle from here, which is why you drop down here. This is the stealth omen section. Hefty beast bone. See me. Can't remember the last time I actually utilized stealth in this game. Uh, there's a big one right on that guy in the middle, but I don't think that's worth it. Check both sides just to be safe. I see the holes there, so I know there's a trap panel up here. Place. Gonna stab my flail in your face. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna aggravate this lever and. not paying attention, and that is rude. Aggravate this lever, then I'm gonna go back to this guy. 
because I'm pretty sure he is guarding an item. It's just ashes. I die. That's fine. I expected that to happen. Five thousand six hundred runes. Oh, I'm not going back through all that effort to get those back. I'm just gonna go fight that boss. this. I don't imagine it's too hard of a boss. It's probably just another watchdog, which are not hard at all. I know this isn't the double watchdog. I hate the double watchdog. Okay. It's the mage watchdog? Oh yeah, that's easy. It's not the double one or the one with a bunch of normal infancers. Yeah, you're... Poise has to be low by now. Oh my god, you still survived that with poise? And you are a big stone statue, so you got a lot of poise. Miss my input. That's the second input I messed up in a row. Jeez, how much poison do you have? Stamps broken, you lost five support. There you go. Jesus. That's what I get for going for a poise break constantly there. Oh, he thought he had less. Uh, no special item in here. Got less runes from killing that watchdog than I got from... than I lost to that omen up there. This episode is brought to you by Dubby. Are you tired of energy drinks that give you the jitters? That make you feel all shaky with their high energy content? Enter Dubby. The best jitterless energy on the market. With a wide variety of flavors, my personal favorite being the Beach and Peach Tub, Dubby gives you the energy you need without the jitters. Just put one scoop into a 16 ounce water bottle and you're good to go. I personally use Dubby every time I go to the gym. It gives me all the energy I need without ruining my workout with the shakes. It also contains a bunch of vitamins and nutrients to help elevate those long gaming hours. Try Dubby for yourself at www.dubby.gg. Use code Isaiah Mildly for 10% off your order at checkout, and thank you all for watching. That was not worth my time. There's no way I'm too high of a level already. Not for this area. Let's -a go. Back to where we planned to go. Just up this hill and to that tree. Which is admittedly also quite annoying to get to, but I must.
giant crab. I'm going to ignore you, giant crab. Thank you for not killing me, giant crab. Ah, we'll kill the tibia mariner. It's right here. Also, I'm getting walk on distance. Okay, not too insane far away. Uh, oh, there, I saw your glow. Don't know how wide of an AoE that attack has. I do hate these skeletons, though. See you. You're going down. Skeletal bandit ashes. Not the greatest ash, but a decent one. Oh, I remember you. You're annoying to fight when you play miracles. He drops a miracle, and he sucks. Hey. What do you think you're looking at? Let's uh, reset the area and reset our flasks. Cross the bridge now. Quote unquote bridge. Pretty sure this sky drops a uh, miracle for you too. Briars of Sin, a bleed spell. Uh, I don't really think that's worth invading. Only kind of stuff you get out of those things is usually from mages of some sort, of which I am not one. All right. Looks like I'm not going to finish all this side stuff I wanted to do in this one part. Going to have to do it in the second part before we do the academy, but that's fine. I just want to get all this stuff done beforehand because I just want to do it. Not trying to rush through the game. I'm trying to enjoy the game. Hello, turtle. You are tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vian, Muriel. 
Steward of this sacred chamber, my apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. Alright. There's various NPCs that deal with magic and, uh... Miracles, and you can give them scrolls and prayer books, but oh, I always just give all of them to here? this guy because he does both. Very well, let us both learn together. That way, Heresy I don't have to go to a bunch of different NPCs to, to get them. It if I'm doing a magic playthrough, all thing. Oh, very well, don't care about you talking about thing. this stuff. Blah blah blah, contrivance, conjoin, whatever. Tell me about Radagon. You wish to know more of Lord Radagon? Lord Radagon was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. really control it right now of all times that's another thing I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, like lower story in the background of this game it's too Game of Thronesy stupid George R R Martin never liked Game of Thrones don't think George George R R Martin is a very uh, well-rounded writer let's say all right I need to go down the hill not along the hill. And down this path. There's another thing, it's very minor, but this game encourages you a lot to skip past a lot of enemies just by virtue of being open world and by giving you a horse. You leave me alone. earn 
this side of grace. Okay, now I just go up the hill and we're there. The more tears I get for my physic flask, the better, because that gives me more options to put in it. I'm not the biggest fan of my current two selections. But it's not like I really have all that much better right now. I don't even bother fighting these Minotaurs, you just let them get killed by this guy. You have a bow. I see. It had to be the bow one left right behind him, so he shot me through him. Oh, that's evil. Oh. We'll get it this time. Time of day change. Hit you right off the bat for no reason other than that it's funny. Yes, go in front of her so her swings hit you. Front of my tank. Come on, kill the kill the minute attacker. Thank you. Now it's a fair fight. second off. That's all it takes. Split second too late there too. Your poise should be pretty low. 
gonna hit with them strong attacks. That's not gonna help when you do that. Right there, are you kidding me? No! You did the stomp and I went for it. Dang it! That stupid rock! Okay. We got this. Of course, I'm killed by a rock. Just my luck. Jelly fishing, jelly fishing, jelly fishing. Why did it not X? Ah, he shouldn't be able to hit me through the pot. That's messed up. Come on, Archery Avatar, take them out for me. They should all be a one-shot for you by now. Except that one. Don't get greedy this time. Three light hits is greedy. Two heavy hits is greedy. Where? I see you there. That was going so perfectly until that other archer appeared out of nowhere. <sighs> okay, we got this.
better, GFTR. Do your thing. Doing that, that lets you regain your poise. God, I got ready there. One more set of hits. No rock, no archer, you suck. And none of those tiers are ones that I want, so, oh boy, that was worth it. Now something I've done ever since the first time, I never actually found how to get up there properly. No, oh, come on. It just sucks because the horse is so terrible to control. It's both too stiff and too loose, and it's horrible. At least if you need precision. Okay, you get up here, you get... Okay. Come on. This is my first ever playthrough, that's how I got up to that section. Oh my god. Yes, we're actually try to do this for yourself. It is so tough to get the horse to do what you want properly. Okay. Because it's almost impossible to do a 180 turn like that without him just careening off the edge. Oh boy. And I know you're technically not supposed to get up here that way, but it's just the way that I did it. I want to go to that church. Yeah, y'all can just have your madness village. I'm not interested in your madness. I'm also not interested in your Eye of Sauron over there. See, the frenzy would be fine if it didn't also damage you as it builds up. And that guy is absurdly hard to fight. Ouch! Ouch! 
Exactly, case in point. Not like it matters. I'm not after the spear that he drops. I was just after the sacred tear here. Sweet. After editing it down a little bit, I might have time for just one last thing. I'll do the rest of Castle Morn, because all that's left is the boss fight. Since I'm here, and I could fully explore the castle and everything, but I, as far as I remember, there's really not much worth grabbing in there, other than one talisman I already got. Oh my god, you pushed me off the edge. Ow! Jesus Christ! Never had that happen before. Jellyfish, I'll take his aggro. This is another one of those bosses that's technically pretty easy, but I just suck against it for whatever reason. Jellyfish, why are you trying to fight guys outside? Jellyfish, you're a great help. Ah, let's go. I think that's a pretty good sword if you're playing with great swords. That's not something I needed to do, that was just something I wanted to do. Perfect. That should be enough endurance for a while. Especially with this flail not taking all that much. about that cave later. Let's do paint. We'll go down to CO for a next time. And let's head over to this church. So I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the church first, then I'm gonna go down to paint, then I'm gonna go to CO for a and we're gonna start at Stormhill Shack. And we're worried about all that stuff. Next time. That's going to wrap up this episode of Elden Ring. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.